And now maybe you're thinking, well, Seth, I mean, I'm brave and I care about life, but really at the Christmas dinner table, can't we just put it off for another time? <laughs> well, probably a lot of the extended family that you see over the Christmas holidays, you probably don't see a lot of other times, right? So that might be one of the only times you actually have to graciously and winsomely share truth with them, truth about life. And so why speak up at all? at Christmas dinner? Why why go out of your way to create quote-unquote division? And well, that's one of the problems in today in America is that we tend to see division as something bad. Division can be a good thing if it enables you to pursue truth, if it creates a line of demarcation on issues so each party is very clear about what position the other person holds. And division can be very helpful in driving people to seek truth. Because the hope is that you win that person back to truth. You win them back to the Lord. So you should speak up at Christmas dinner because truth matters and lies are deadly. Nowhere is that more true than the issue of abortion, the lie that not all humans are persons or that the unborn isn't a full human. It's just partially human. It, it's, it's, like, it's like it's becoming human, but it's not like a full human. These are deadly lies. So you should speak up because truth matters. And maybe there's no one else in your extended family's life that they will see on a regular basis who will graciously and winsomely speak truth to them. You know, Nancy Piercy made this point. She said that Christians should speak out on moral issues, not because they feel offended or because their sacred beliefs are being compromised, but because they have compassion for those who are trapped by destructive ideas. And what is more literally destructive than the idea that we can kill unborn humans because they're not really persons? And those ideas become increasingly destructive because if we can deny the natural right to life to unborn human beings because they differ from us, why can't that same government deny certain natural rights to you because you differ from them in certain ways and you don't meet certain functional checkboxes that the government has now determined are necessary to meet in order to have rights? This is exactly what we did to Jews, blacks, and now to our unborn neighbors. And the last reason why you should speak up at Christmas dinner is because pro-choice propaganda and ideas are ubiquitous. They're everywhere. You don't have to go searching to learn pro-choice arguments or to be indoctrinated to think within a pro-choice worldview. It's in the mainstream media. It's in Hollywood. It's in our educational systems. It's ubiquitous. Who will counter that? Who will provide a light on a hill? Who will provide truth in times of chaos if not you? That's why you should speak up at Christmas dinner. doesn't mean you go around gratuitously offending people people or making your extended family feel like rubes for accepting the pro-choice position, but because you have compassion for people who are just trapped by destructive ideas. <laughs>